Maya, how are you today? How are things going so far? Hi, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. How are you? I'm good. So great to have the opportunity to chat with you. My God, I'm such a big fan of, of, of all the stuff that you've been doing. Congratulations on all of your success. And my first question is because you do so much in front of the camera, but of course, so much directing. How do you know when you want to direct something or when you want to just dive in and be an actor? Uh, generally, it's, it's the story and the material and, and the collaborators. Um, with the directing opportunities, it's, yeah, generally uh, stuff that I've, you know, worked on from the beginning. Um, but recently I directed the first three episodes of Little Bird. And yes. so that was, um, that was such a wonderful opportunity, you know, to work with Jennifer Podemski and Zoe Lee Hopkins, who directed the other three episodes. So, um, yeah, generally, either way, it's it's the collaborators that draw me to the work. So yeah, yeah I was going to ask you because uh, not that we're not going to talk about Stellar, but I loved Little Bird. What an amazing miniseries! My God, it really it really struck home for me. It was so so good. What Thank do you, you learn as a director and even as an actor to work on something like that? So cool. Uh, well. It was, a, I think it's a very pivotal moment for Canadian television and for Indigenous storytelling uh, because it was kind of the first opportunity we have had as Indigenous creatives in the film sector yeah. where we were given equitable access to the resources to tell, a, you know, they use this term premium, to tell a, a, a premium, <laughs> to, to make a show that is premium in terms yeah. of um, in terms of everything, you know, and and what it demonstrated is that when we're given equitable access to resources, we're capable of doing remarkable things. You know, we had so many talented, uh, not only Indigenous folks, but also al allies who wanted to just be part of that process and support that project. And, and we were able to work with uh, the resources necessary to tell that type of story. And, and it just goes to show that like when, <laughs> those funds are channeled in the right direction and we're yeah. trusted with that we're capable of making something really extraordinary yeah yeah it really was and now i understand it's going to be on pbs like more people are going to be seeing this like wow kudos to you it's so great and even just working on things like free pines and stuff like that like the word is getting out there you know what i mean like i think you guys should be really you should be really proud and and happy with what's happening with indigenous stories i think thank you i th i i certainly am and i think the community is of indigenous film creatives are are also really excited about where things are going and the 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 sort of major shifts that are happening yeah yeah that's amazing well let's get right into stellar because here's another one you know um another great film that was also premiered at tiff you know like a lot of the stuff that you've worked on you, you get that exposure at the film festival which is wonderful um this one was so interesting to me um because the well writer director darlene when it was it was on her based on a short story that she wrote and then you know uh, expanded but then she is it true she came to you and approached you to play she what was your reaction to that yeah she did she uh she offered me the role which was wonderful <laughs> I'm it's terrible always nice it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was uh, it was truly an honor that she approached me uh that darlene approached me to to play this character i i love darlene's work i have such a deep admiration and respect for who she is as a filmmaker and just as a person and she created such phenomenal work prior to stellar um, mm -hmm. that I just jumped at the opportunity to work with her. Like I said yes before I'd even read the script. <laughs> okay, that's bold. And then I read the script and was like, wow, this is like nothing I've ever read before. Right, and yes, and I was going to say that because it had to have been quite the challenge. I mean, here you are playing this character who doesn't speak very much, like both characters, nobody in, in the whole film, you know, there's very little dialogue. It's all about connection. It's all about, um, you know, interaction and, and and working with your co-star, uh, Brayden, and who we'll talk about in a, in a minute, but um, that had to have scared you, I would think. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It was terrifying um, in so many, in so many ways. Um, you know, I, I, I feel like this film is so brave in the sense that it tackles 
indigenous intimacy and sensuality and sex and love and romance um, in such a beautiful way. And mm -hmm. it's something that we as indigenous people, I don't think are very accustomed to seeing on screen. Um, so often we see these stories that are centered around tragedy and trauma and sadness and sort of center settler colonialism and everything right. that's done. Um, and it's this like really special experience to be able to sit in a cinema and witness this love story unfold on screen. And like you said, there's not a lot of dialogue, but there's so much that's said in those silences and those moments in between these characters on screen. And, um, you know, there's, there's this lasting legacy of settler colonialism that impacts everything in our lives as Indigenous people. And I think many of us have been impacted when it comes to love and intimacy and the relationship with our bodies and that has to do with residential schools and the church yeah. um, and that shame and yeah. it's so radical just to be able to see this like unapologetic love story unfold on screen and to be able to witness sensuality um, and especially as an indigenous woman to like have my body on the screen in that way and to right portray sensuality in such a, a, a beautiful way is, is a very radical and liberating thing. So it was terrifying, but I think terrifying for all the right reasons. And I hope that um, other Indigenous people see the film and walk away with that same feeling of just like, wow, we deserve love and we deserve to, to give love and receive love. And um, there's so much healing and catharsis that happens when, when, when love is our central focus. Yeah, and all set against nature, of course, you know, mm -hmm. which is so beautiful to see the juxtaposition. Like when you saw the finished product, what was your reaction to that? I was so blown away because, you know, so we, we spent like four weeks in this, this set that was a bar with yeah. a green screen. So we had really no idea what we were reacting to. Darlene was like giving us, you know, her descriptions and we had what was on the page, but that's, you know, that's, that's, that's only our like limited imagination as actors. So to be able to see it on screen was so moving. Like she just, evokes such a deep sense of um, sensuality with nature. Yeah. It's like nature becomes nature and the land and the universe and creation all become this like really beautiful, ethereal, poetic character that we we get to witness throughout this love story unfolding. And um, I was like actually so, uh, there were moments where I was like, oh, wow, like nature's dirty, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in the sense that like things get a little bit like hot and heavy. And yeah, it's so wild that you can experience that in just seeing these images of of nature being nature. Yeah. Um, and that's it, it was just like it's just this beautiful reminder that it's a, a the land is a living thing, you know, and deserves these beautiful moments of contemplation on screen. 100%. Tell me about your connection with Braden Clark, who, of course, plays the key, uh, the co-star. Now, he was in Little Bird. So you guys clearly knew each other from before? Or tell me a little bit the connection, because great chemistry between the two of you. Yeah, uh, we didn't know each other before Stellar. Um, and, you know, he and I just connected. I, I don't know how it happened. We just had natural chemistry. Um, I think, you know, we've had some similar experiences in in our life and um, really trusted each other as performers and also trusted and respected Darlene and her process. And so the environment that she fostered on set and also just more broadly, like in her community, um, yeah. it really created a sense of trust and understanding that we were telling a love story and that um, in telling a love story that you have to have trust as a foundation. So, yeah, so he was just so fun and fun to work with and also like very engaging as an actor. He's just so fully committed to to the work. And that's really inspiring when you're when you're on screen working with somebody who is deeply committed to to the story and the material and the performance and just being open and honest and raw. Yeah, is very remarkable thing to work with um so yeah he was actually cast in little bird 
uh, because somebody else got sick, somebody got COVID. uh, And there was a last minute change in casting. And Brayden was um, not that he was the second choice. It's just that he was too young in our in our first, in our minds to begin with. But right. then we were like, no, we you know we believe him. And and that was it was Zoe's uh, one of Zoe's episodes was episodes four, five, and six that he yes. was in. Yeah. And so those, yeah, those were Zoe's uh, episodes. But yeah, it was so cool just to be working on Little Bird and to see him embody this this character in such a full, um, truthful way and. Yeah, he's he's just so talented. He's he's a real force in front yeah. of the camera. And I just hope he continues to get more opportunities. Oh, yeah. I mean, you both will. There's no question. And he's not bad to look at, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, so they say. <laughs> <laughs> um, as we said off at, at, at the beginning of the interview, you know, it's so wonderful that these stories are getting such exposure, whether it's at film festivals or on major networks or whatever. You know, at, at, as as being someone who's indigenous, indigenous, you you must be so proud, honestly, to be least that these stories are getting out and that people are, are, are getting it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I I feel like there's a major shift happening in the world of film and television when it comes to just underrepresented voices or marginalized communities in general. Mm -hmm. Um, There's still a long ways to go, but you know, so many of the shifts that we're seeing in Canada in terms of Indigenous storytelling on screen has to do with the advocacy and activism of the community, just asking for equitable access to resources. Because for so long, we were sort of like um, offered just a, you know, tiny little piece of the pie. We weren't given the same sort of opportunities that you know, a lot of like straight white male directors in in Canada have had. And so it's nice to finally like be able to say like, if you give us equitable access to the resources and trust that we know what we're doing, we can create extraordinary things. So suddenly there's this massive shift and it's really cool to see. Um, It's very inspiring. There's not a lack of talent. There's just a lack of opportunity, but that is changing. Um, and, you know, I, I have to remain hopeful, um, but there's so much that needs to happen in this country before there's true equity beyond yeah. the screen sector. Um, yeah, it's it, it can be a very um, heavy thing to wake up as an Indigenous person in this country and, and look at the news and see everything that our people have to face on a daily basis. Um, so I'm very excited about the fact that we have films like Stellar, where you can go into the theater and just watch two people fall in love and feel that sort of sense of joy and hope. I agree. I really agree. Well, like I said, um, you were, you're really, really good in this. You, you did a stellar performance. I have to tell you. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) And uh, it's really my pleasure to have had the opportunity to talk with you today. So have a good one. And uh, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. (laughs) Thank you so much. Take care. You're welcome. Okay. Take care. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.